Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 66 says, in the XY plane, the line given by which of the following is perpendicular to the line 5x minus 2y equals 7. So this is a linear equation, meaning that when you graph it, it looks like a line, a straight line, and it's asking which of these are perpendicular. In other words, which of these will intersect the original uh, equation, or the graph of the original equation, at a 90 degree angle. So um, in order to tell whether or not two lines are perpendicular, what you need to do is find the slopes of the lines. Okay, so the slopes, uh, slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite, meaning one's positive and one's negative, uh, reciprocals, meaning the fraction is flipped. Okay, so there are not only are they opposites, like one's positive, one's negative, but the slopes are also reciprocals of each other. So what we need to do is find the slope of the given equation and then figure out what the perpendicular slope would be and try to figure out which one of these has that perpendicular slope. So let's find the slope of the original equation. Okay, so to find that slope, what we want to do here is we want to rearrange the equation. Right now it's 5x minus 2y equals 7. And we want to try to rearrange it into what is called slope-intercept form. So right now the equation is in standard form, where we have like the x and y on the same side of the equation. Slope-intercept form is this classic y equals mx plus b format. And in this, if, well, once we get it in this form, the m, this coefficient of x here, is going to be the slope. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this algebraically, but I also want to be thinking about uh, how we might be able to more efficiently calculate the slopes, because we don't want to have to like rearrange all these equations. So I want to pay close attention to where the slope is coming from when I rearrange this first equation, and let's see if we can come up with a shortcut to finding the sl slopes of all these other ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and find um, the slope of the original equation. So to rearrange this into slope-intercept form, the first step is going to be to subtract this term from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides so that I can move it to the right-hand side and uh, begin to isolate y here. So once I subtract 5x from both sides, I get negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 7. And then the last step here is going to be to divide by negative 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and show that. We want to divide both sides by negative 2. When I do that, I get y equals, now I got to divide both of these terms by negative 2. So negative 5 divided by negative 2 Whenever I divide a negative by a negative, um, it'll turn out to be positive. Same thing goes with multiplication. If you multiply two negative numbers, uh, the result is positive. So 5 halves x and then minus 7 halves because 7 divided by negative 2 is just going to be negative 7 halves. So the slope here is 5 over 2. This right here is the slope. Notice how I have it in this slope-intercept form. So what I'm looking for in the answer choices is going to be an equation that has a slope that is the opposite reciprocal of 5 over 2. Okay, so opposite meaning the slope needs to be negative, and reciprocal meaning that we're going to flip the fraction. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little note that the perpendicular 
slope is negative 2 over 5. So as I look through these equations, what I, what I want to do is find the, uh, the answer choice that has a slope of negative 2 over 5. But I don't want to have to go through this whole process if I can avoid it. Um, you know, it, it, I might have to do it five times if the, if the answer is E. What I want to do is really focus on, like, well, where, how did I get this slope? Let's really break down where that number came from. Like, if what we want to do is kind of find a, uh, a shortcut here. Okay? So let's see where these numbers are coming from. The 5 came from the original coefficient of x here. Okay, and the 2 came from the original coefficient of y. It was negative, but now it's positive. So one way to find the slope a little bit quicker is to take your coefficient of x and divide it by the opposite of the coefficient of y. Okay, so this is a little shortcut. I'm going to just type this out. Shortcut to find the slope when the equation is in standard form. Okay, so standard form meaning, um, I guess I should specify what I mean by there, ax plus by equals c. And you can see that all these equations are in that form. Okay, so the shortcut here is going to be, we're going to take that coefficient of a, which in this case was 5, so the slope is going to be the a value divided by the b value, which was the coefficient of y, but then because it's the, also the opposite, we need to throw in a negative sign there. So that's uh, what we got here, right? 5 divided by negative 2 would have been negative 5 over 2, but if I negate that, it would be positive 5 over 2. So what I, what I can do is I can use this little shortcut uh, to find the slopes of all these other ones. So, like for instance, A, choice A, the slope here is going to be the opposite of 2 over 5. And that is going to be our answer. <laughs> um, you can see if you look through the other ones, uh, and I, I'm happy to type these out too, the slope here would have been the opposite of 2 over negative 5, but we know a negative divided by a negative is positive. So that slope is 2 fifths. Uh, which is not going to be perpendicular. For choice C, the slope is negative 5 over 2. That's not what we want. We want the opposite reciprocal slope. So we can see that it's not going to be C. Uh, for D, we have 5 over negative 2, which would reduce to positive 5 halves. Again, not what we're looking for. And then finally, um, E would be 5 over negative 5. Negative divided by negative is positive. So 5 over 5 would just be 1. So this last one actually has a slope of 1. So we can see our, uh, the correct answer here is A. Um, you do want to be able to go from standard to slope intercept form to find the original slope and just have a good idea of why this little formula works. Um, but if you know this formula for standard form equations for finding the slope, that can be a little faster. Uh, so that's it for number 66. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.